Good morning, friends. It's Elle. Welcome back to my cozy little channel. If you're also an artist, you know how often creativity ebbs and flows. There will always be periods of time where you feel uninspired or unmotivated to create, which is totally normal. But it can be super frustrating at times, especially when your job requires you to be creative. This often happens to me whenever I finish a big project, like a sticker set, which I do every single month but I always have these days or even weeks where I really struggle to think of fresh new ideas. And as someone who's self-employed, I have a tendency to overwork myself and this just does not help my creativity at all and instead I just end up feeling super burnt out. That being said, this weekend I will be logging off and just enjoying my weekend for the first time in a long time. We're gonna head out now but of course we're gonna grab some coffee first. Also, this is my first time putting ribbons in my hair. I've been wanting to try it for a while and I don't exactly know how I feel about it just yet. I mean, it is super cute. I'm just really not used to styling my hair, but we're gonna try it out today. Today's forecast a lot of sunshine, blue skies, marine clouds. Just the perfect day to go outside and relax. That's your forecast. We'll be right back. Yeah, sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but again, away. Okay, so we just made it to Paris Baguettes and we're gonna grab some coffee and some yummy pastries for breakfast. Well, a very late breakfast because it's 12.30 p.m. But yeah, we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna go thrifting. Coffee is secured and we just made it to Savers. We just donated a huge bag of clothes. And now we're gonna do a little bit of thrifting. We don't really have a plan in mind of what we're gonna get, but I always love checking out the home decor section. So that's probably where I'm gonna, that's probably where I'm gonna, blah, blah, blah. we're just gonna see what we find. I always love checking out the home decor section though. And hopefully we find some good stuff. I'm gonna make this really quick because it is so freaking hot today and I'm inside the car without the AC but I wanted to quickly show you everything that I got at the thrift store. It was super super busy today so it was really hard to film but I did pick up a few things. The first thing that I got is this lime green photo frame and I thought I could just use this on my gallery wall in my home art studio. I really like the color. I also got a stack of CDs. I also just really liked the color and I feel like I could use this this for some like prop design. Maybe I can decorate it with a bunch of my vinyl stickers or something. And then the very last thing I got, it's kind of hard to show the whole thing, but I got this IKEA photo strip frame thing. I'm probably gonna put a bunch of my prints and hang it on my wall. But yeah, I thought this was a cool piece. Okay, I am sweating. So we're gonna go to our next place. We just got to half price books and we're gonna do a little bit of book shopping as usual.
I got two Powerpuff Girls blind bags. I'm hoping that I get one of the villains. I really want Mojo Jojo, but we'll see. Oh, I got a Powerpuff Girl. I got Buttercup. Buttercup. Well, this is still good. This is still good. Okay, I'm gonna open up my second bag now. I want a villain. <gasps> I got a villain, I got a villain. I got him. This is perfect because I just made a him sticker. Okay, these are the two that I got. I'm pretty happy actually. They're both really cute. And I didn't get a duplicate, which is nice. Happy Monday. So my birthday isn't until September 27, but Sean surprised me with some early birthday gifts that he thought I could use to enhance the quality of my videos and just the overall editing process, which was incredibly sweet of him. The first are new headphones and these ones are by Sony. The ones that I currently have on right now are by Skull Candy, And as you could probably tell, they're starting to break down. So I think it's time to finally retire these. I've had them for like three to four years. It'll just be really nice to have super good quality headphones that I can use while I edit videos. So I'm very grateful for this. I've heard so many good reviews about these ones. So many people rave about the quality. So I am very excited to try this out. So this is what they look like on. I love them so, so much, but I do wanna make them a little cuter. So I'm gonna add some ribbons on the side. So be right back. It isn't obvious i'm kind of in my ribbon era right now i've just been so obsessed with putting ribbons 
everywhere I possibly can, including these headphones, and it's just adorable. He also gifted me one of those Rode microphones that you can clip onto your shirt so that the audio is super, super crisp. So I'm gonna quickly unbox this and try it out. Mic check, mic check, one, two, three. Let me know if you notice any difference in the sound quality with this microphone. This is my very first time trying it out, so I'm a little worried if the audio sounds completely blown out. I don't wanna be like screaming in your ears, so I'm trying my best to whisper. Hopefully that's not the case, but yeah, I'm really curious. Let me know if this sounds better. Testing this from a little bit farther away, the audio should sound the same, hopefully. And I am just really excited to try this out in public because I still get major anxiety filming in front of other people. So this would just alleviate a lot of the stress that I feel because I can kind of be in my own bubble and just whisper into this microphone when I don't want to be noticed by anyone. You know what? I'm going to switch back to my other microphone for now because I kind of want to play around with the settings a little bit more and I just don't want to F up this audio. So I got a very exciting package in the mail this morning from Bandai and I actually got an email from them a few weeks ago that they wanted to send me a few Studio Ghibli items. So I am so, so, so excited to see what is inside this box and just very grateful that they wanted to send me some stuff in the first place. so much in here. The first thing in this box is this Kiki's Delivery Service Gigi Pillow. This is just so cute. Oh my gosh. I already have the Cat Bus one, which you've probably seen in my other videos. So this is just the perfect addition to my little collection. The next few things are a My Neighbor Totoro towel set. And the first couple are just hand towels. And they have this little Totoro print all over. And then there's also a bigger bath towel as as well so pretty and then the very last thing in this box is a princess mononoke clock this looks so stunning this is what the piece looks like it's super well made this is so cool this is so cool y'all already know how much i love studio ghibli and how much miyazaki's films mean to me as an artist so i don't know this just feels so surreal and i am just very 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 grateful so I didn't get to record too much yesterday, but we pretty much just spent our entire Sunday with my mom and my sister. And honestly, it was just really nice being able to spend quality time with them because I don't get to see them too often, especially since they live an hour-ish away from us. So yeah, here's a quick little recap of our time together yesterday. to the aesthetic. Damn! I've been looking for something orange. Something to put Bella's picture. It matches all our wood accents. And Mancala, I mean... You can put your keys in there in the front. Kissabella! Thank you! 